<laughs> 90 MS swing, swing, by the way. Uh, it's on the server. Uh, good server, by the way. I said fuel. Oh, no. I, I turned it up for the trash dragons. I haven't traded. The trade was uh, for a reward value of 1.6 million dollars, according to ESPN and Kotaku. Um, I won't leak the details of the trade though. It's been it's been leaked, but it's been also confirmed by Slasher and the Jacob. Both of them, they confirmed it. But in all seriousness, I'm Darren with Action Esports, and this is Action Recap. On today's episode, we'll be covering the various controversies regarding the Dallas Fuel as of late. After their match against the San Francisco Shock last night, Dallas Fuel's XQC dropped some controversial tweets and messages on his Discord channel that has left the community wondering if he'll be the first pro player to leave the Overwatch League. Yesterday, it was mentioned in a tweet by Rod Slasher Breslow that XQC and Taimu would potentially be receiving punishments, but it was uncertain as to what the two had done to warrant disciplinary action. Fans of the tank player grew concerned after he tweeted how he believes that he had single-handedly ruined the team. He followed up on Discord to the confusion, stating that the decision on whether or not he steps down will be his alone and quote, I'll be super transparent with you guys, it's very likely. With his Discord channel and Reddit in an uproar over the news, XQC followed up on his stance to be transparent and explained how if a player were to say anything quote, wrong about one another, a complaint would be filed by the owner of the team to Blizzard. Quote, an owner of a team complained to Blizzard that I attacked his player on my stream and I'm getting punished for it too. I requested and was offered to set a meeting date. I requested the earliest today. I was planning on making a video to explain a few things, but punishment came before we could have the meeting. As a result of this disclosure, People who wanted answers began digging into what type of behavior from XQC could warrant a punishment. Clips uncovered include his statement on the play of Fate and Envy. I thought, I thought Fate was like, <laughs> fucking crazy dude. I, I, I went from, he is crazy mechanically and shit. But Fate was actually just fucking, he was wasting bubbles so hard. He was, he was always engaging at, at the, like really like weird timings. And he, he was using his jump in such like trash timings. And like, dude. Faze isn't that good, but you know why he gets away with it, dude? Because Envy goes with him. And it just hit me. You can be fucking retarded. As long as you're retarded as a duo. Oh my fucking god. It's like I, it's like I relearned the whole game, dude. Also, there were many who are inclined to believe that XQC is also facing heat for the hate generated from his stream directed towards Jake from Houston Outlaws. While XQC has asked for his chat to tone down on the toxicity with Jake and can be seen engaging in friendly trash talk, it wouldn't be too out of place for this at least to be a part of a reason for the recent developments as Jake has been receiving various death threats to a point of discomfort and made a response video. Majority of people, but it's just, it just sucks, dude. Like, I hate having that much hate. I don't even mind people talking shit. There's a big difference between me people talking shit and people like spamming. It's not even, it's not that JLOK is spam, it bothers me. That doesn't bother me at all. It does kind of bother me that XUC would make an emote in his chat that is exclusively for people to show that they're they're not just spamming the JLOK you have fun, they, they don't like me. Like if you use the XQC emote, that's like, haha, making fun of him, right? Like XQC made an emote just to enable people to be toxic to me like is there any other use for that emote the point of that emote is to make fun of me which is like okay dude but i wish he would talk shit in real life honestly All right. you can't i can't even be mad at him because he's like hey dude how's it going every time he sees me it's like fucking talk shit to my face if you're gonna be constantly talking to me on stream See you later. Hey. Or just don't do it at all. I would actually really rather prefer, I'd prefer that if you just didn't do it at all. Moving away from the speculation of why XQC is being punished, the term stepping down doesn't necessarily mean that he is leaving Dallas Fuel. Depending on how his meetings go and the direction he wants to take his Overwatch career in, XQC could still remain with the Fuel as a part of the support staff to help with the VOD review and strategizing or take a less active role and stream under the brand of the organization, similar to Aimbot Calvin playing under the TSM banner. The sentiment of the team struggles was stated by effect during a recent stream where he went into 
his post-match performance. Effect explained how the team's original playstyle as Envious focused on providing resources to his Tracer and playing around him as the main playmaker. But with the start of the Overwatch League, the team has been working on and have been struggling in transitioning to a more team-oriented playstyle. Now that he can shot call better thanks to the improvement in his English, he has run into an entirely new set of problems that have been giving him a lot of stress. Effect explained how there are moments where his mind goes blank for a split second mid-game because he's not used to shot calling to his team in English in the heat of a moment, which in part is what he attributes to his inconsistency where he can make an amazing play in one team fight followed by a poor play shortly after. Dallas Fuel is facing multiple problems, both within and outside of the game that are holding the team back, but it's important to remember that whether it's XQC, the coaching staff, Effect, Custa, or whoever is the popular scapegoat for that week, we cannot just place all the blame on a single factor. And with that, that's all for this installment of Action Recap. If you enjoy our content, check out our website at actionesports.com to stay up to date on the latest matches, highlights, and more from scores, match history, and specific game info, we've got you covered for all things Overwatch Esports. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action-packed content. Also, like and share this video, and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.